This second demonstration shows a self-sustaining power generator. The heat is absorbed on one side and passes through the thermoelectric device that, and is dissipated through the heat sink fan combination. The heat passing through the conductors causes electrons to flow through the completed electrical circuit, which includes the fan that dissipates the heat and this light emitting diode that illuminates the light pipe. As displayed here on the computer screen, this demonstration device is generating about a 5 volt potential. The temperature of the hot side is 160 degrees C, while the dissipation side is at 40 degrees C. The difference between the collection and dissipation sides of the thermoelectric device is shown here to be around 120 degrees C. It is this maintained temperature difference and the heat energy flowing across that difference that enables the phenomenon of electrical generation. The device in this setup is capable of generating nearly 2.2 watts of power with proper impedance matching conditions. The application of thermoelectric power generation can be categorized into two fields. Uh, first, there's recovery of waste heat to generate electricity. And secondly, the purposeful creation of heat to generate electricity. In both categories, the most chaotic form of energy, being heat, is transformed into electricity that can be used to power devices or charge batteries, which will in turn power devices.